Today I'm explaining Look Away, released in the year 2018. At the beginning of the movie, we are shown a sonogram of two babies sharing a womb. The scene abruptly changes to 17-year-old Maria Brennan getting ready for school. She is extremely shy and socially awkward. Because of her personality, she is often bullied by a classmate named Mark. Maria's only friend is Lily, who often ignores her when they are in a group setting. Suffice it to say that Maria's school life isn't ideal. One day at school, she and Lily are watching the ice hockey team play from the sidelines. Lily interrupts the practice and starts making out with her boyfriend Sean. Maria watches them in jealousy, having had a crush on Sean for a long time. At home, she has dinner with her parents Dan and Amy. Dan is a philandering plastic surgeon and an obsessive perfectionist. He has always had control over Maria's life and is partly the reason for her social anxiety. Her mother, Amy, is always trying to do the best for Maria, but she too suffers from depression and anxiety because of her husband's constant verbal abuse. Amy tries to set Maria up with a boy for the upcoming prom, but Maria refuses to listen and storms off to her room. On her way, she overhears Dan talking about how much of a failure she is. She cries, clearly hurt by her father's words. Later, she finds a sonogram of a pair of twins hidden behind the mirror in her parents' room. After looking at the picture, she goes to shower and notices her reflection in the mirror moving on its own. Terrified, she runs out of the bathroom. During breakfast, she tries telling Dan about the incident, but he interrupts her and comments on how bad she looks. At school, Lily gets busy with Sean and ignores Maria as usual. When she isn't looking, Mark makes her trip and fall to the floor. Everyone laughs at her, except for Sean, who helps her up. He makes sure she is okay, and even calls Mark out for his behavior. That night, Maria hears someone calling her name from the bathroom. She carefully walks in and sees her reflection in the mirror. Who is turning the other way? The reflection introduces herself as Aram and claims that she has always been with Maria, even since her birth. The reflection boasts about having the ability to take all of Maria's sadness away, but doesn't explain what her actual motive is. As they talk, Maria actually starts to like Aram. Since Aram knows all of her likes, fears, and dislikes, the two get along well. Maria doesn't seem to care about the fact that she is talking to her reflection. The next day, she is in a good mood. After school, she goes to her father's clinic, where she happens to notice him being a little too friendly with a patient. Maria doesn't think much of it and goes to the movies with him for their father-daughter bonding time. As they are about to leave, she bumps into Mark, who acts nice to her in front of Dan. His friends burst into laughter right after making Maria feel terrible. Dan notices that the kids are bullying his daughter, but doesn't say anything. On their way back home, he asked her to come to his clinic for an early birthday present tomorrow at night. Maria talks to Aram, who doesn't approve of her trying to improve her relationship with Dan. She laughs at Maria for thinking that Dan actually cares about Maria. On the other hand, believes that her father is going to give her a car tomorrow, so she wouldn't have to take the bus with the bullies. However, her hopes are crushed when the next day, Dan reveals that her early birthday present is rhinoplasty. He believes that her nose is imperfect and wants to make it look more sophisticated. Maria is left disheartened after the interaction, so she just agrees with whatever he says. On returning home, Aaron tells her that she always knew what kind of person Dan was. She knows that Maria is sad and makes her laugh, joking about Dan's affairs. Amy, here's her daughter, talk to herself in the bathroom and freaks out. She tells Dan about it, but he gives her a sleeping pill and asks her to rest. Before going to sleep, she tells him that she has again started to get the same nightmares. The following day, Lily and Maria come to an old clubhouse to practice ice skating for the upcoming non-ice winter prom. Lily is a pro at ice skating while Maria can barely stand straight. While trying to move, she falls down and hurt her knees. However, Lily refuses to help her. She's noticed Maria eyeing her boyfriend and wants to teach her a lesson. When Aram sees her at home, she immediately tells her that Lily is a bad friend. Maria still wants to give her a chance, but Aram is strictly against it. 
She reminds Maria of everything bad that Lily has done to her since they were just kids. At last, she claims that she can take all her pain away if Maria switches places with her. They touch each other's hands and get closer to switch, but Amy interrupts them. The next day, Amy does Maria's makeup and dresses her up for prom night. Maria is reluctant to go, but she does it for her mother. However, when she gets there, she already knows that it was a bad idea. While everyone is skating around, she can hardly stand up straight. Her day gets better when Sean comes to help her and ask her for a dance. The two enjoy slow dancing together while a jealous Lily glares at them. All of a sudden, Maria slips and falls down. Sean goes to help her up, but it's stopped by Lily, who pretends to not see Maria on the ground. The bully Mark holds his hand out to help her up, but instead drags her across the ice. Everyone laughs and makes fun of her misery. Well, Maria cries for him to stop. When he eventually does, she quickly gets up and runs back home. Maria has finally had enough of everyone treating her like crap. She cries to Aram asking her to switch places and solve all her problems. Maria and the reflection joined hands and lips together. Moments after the interaction, Maria enters the mirror while Aram takes her place in the real world. At night, Amy dreams of her giving birth to a baby, but something goes horribly wrong in the process. She has been having the same recurring dream ever since Maria was born. The next morning at breakfast, Amy notices the evident change in Maria's behavior. When usually she barely touches her food, now she enjoys a bagel, complimenting the taste. Amy is delighted at the positive change and doesn't think much of it walking into the school. Maria is much more confident than usual. When Mark comments on the events of yesterday, she seductively whispers into his ears, making him shut up. Sean witnesses this and asks her what she said to Mark taking the opportunity. Aram does the same to him, leaving him flustered. Lily brings up yesterday's incident and tries to pass it up. It's just a joke, Aram confidently asks her if she can continue teaching her how to skate. Lily is confused about her sudden confidence, but she agrees to meet her again at the clubhouse to practice after school. Aram goes to meet Dan in his office. It is almost as if she is meeting him after years. Aram knows that her father has had several affairs, but her mother is too scared to acknowledge the fact. Yet she is determined to make her face the truth of their superficial marriage. When no one is in the reception, she calls dance mistress and asks her to come to the clinic at one. She also falsely tells her mother that she has a date with Dan. At the same time, when Amy arrives at the office later, she meets the mistress in the elevator and finds out she is Dan's girlfriend. Later at night, Aram smugly asks Amy where her father is. Although knowing that he is with his mistress, Amy lies and says that he is working late. A frustrated Aram bluntly tells her to accept the fact that her husband is sleeping with other women. In a flit of rage, Amy slaps her but apologizes right after. Even after being slapped by her mother, Aram smiles happy that the plan was successful. Maria, however, is not happy that Aram was rude to her mother. Aram argues that she is doing what Maria never had the guts to do. She asked her to maintain faith, but Maria has started to doubt if letting her out was a good decision. The next day, after school, everyone is leaving, when Aram follows Mark into the shower room. When he is not looking, she hits him with a hockey stick, making him fall to the ground in excruciating pain and teaching him a lesson to never mess with her again. Following that, she and Lily go to the clubhouse to practice skating yet again. This time Aram is better at skating, much to Lily's annoyance since she believed that she was better than Maria at everything to Lily's utter surprise, Aram copies her like a professional. Suddenly, Aram aggressively skates towards her. Although they do not exchange words, Lily senses she is in trouble and runs away while they are at it. She loses her balance and crashes into the pavement, losing her life because of the impact. Aram immediately calls the police and pretends to be crying. Maria is at a loss for words because of what Aram did to Lily. She cries mourning her best friend's death, but Aram simply says that Lily deserved it. Maria demands to be let out of the mirror, but Aram refuses, saying she still has a lot to do.
After Lily's memorial, Aram goes to Sean's house, pretending to be sad about her death. In reality, she wants to get closer to him, like Maria had always dreamed of. She makes sexual advances at him, which he doesn't reciprocate at first. But eventually he gives in, and the two make love. Aram and Dan go out for dinner for father-daughter bonding time. She orders a crab and eats it messily. Much to Dan's annoyance, when he asked her to stop, she put her foot on the chair, challenging him. Dan harshly tells her that she looks like a pathetic try-hard teenager, which makes her behave properly again. Meanwhile, she starts to date Sean, and the two cut classes frequently. They return to her house, where Amy sees them and is unsettled by their relationship. Aram simply asked her to keep sleeping, and takes John to her room where they make love again. When they drive to school the next day, Aram sees policemen entering the premises. She urges Sean to cut class again so she wouldn't be interrogated. They drive to a motel and start undressing. But just then, Sean gets a call from his mother telling him that the police want to talk to him and Maria about the death. He wants to leave as soon as possible, but Aram refuses to do so. She asks him why he still cares about Lily when she is dead. The question makes Sean believe that she had something to do with Lily's death. When he calls her out for it, Aram hits him with a bottle of alcohol and kills him. She and Maria cry together, sitting on the bathroom counter. A flashback shows us that Maria actually had a twin sister who was born with a deformed face. Dan, who was a perfectionist, didn't like the second girl, so he euthanized her against Amy's will. Aram is his second daughter, who is still hurt by the fact that she wasn't good enough for her father. Hours later, she gets drunk and goes to DNA's clinic. Dan tries to calm her down, but is shocked when she gets completely naked in front of him. He orders her to get dressed quickly, but she doesn't oblige. She asks him if he would love her, even if she was deformed. Dan tries avoiding the question, but upon being forced, he says that he would still love her anyway. To his utter surprise, Aram slits his throat with a scalpel as he takes his last breath. She asks him why he couldn't just love her while cleaning the scalpel. Aram looks for Maria in the mirror, but doesn't find her. She returns home and crawls onto the bed next to Amy. In the last scene, both Maria and Aram are on the bed together with their mother, implying that the sisters have merged into one. That was all from the video. 